So how do you take packet captures on the Cisco ESA? The first thing is you go to the top right corner, click on help and support, and from there you get an option to select packet capture. This is the last option right here. You can do this from the CLI as well. Uh, I'm gonna show that to you after this. So once you're here on the screen, you see this option right here which says edit settings. So this is what you gotta click on if you want to um, edit these filters. And this is a list of captures that I've taken on this box. You just click on start capture once you are done with uh, this part. And uh, that's pretty much it. You can then click on start capture and uh, we're good to go. Now let me show you the edit settings part right now. So if I click on edit settings, uh, we have a bunch of different options available. Uh, first thing is 200, uh, the size of the file. Uh, well, if you don't wanna run it indefinitely, then that's the option you gotta go for. If not, then um, possibly the second option as well. It's completely your choice. And then the second option comes in, the interfaces. Now, this uh, appliance that I'm using in the lab has just one interface, which is the management interface. Now, let's say I, uh, I have multiple interfaces like management and then data one, data two, data three, and whatever. In that case, I can just select the first option, use selected interface, and then select that one interface. Now. In, in that case as well, let's say you have multiple interfaces, but you're confused, you're not sure which interface to select, then you can just select this option. This option is good for any case. If you have just one interface or multiple interfaces, this option is something you can go for always, not a problem. Okay, moving on to packet capture filters. You can use no filters. Uh, well, that is something I would not recommend at all. Don't do that. Um, unless you have a special use case for that. I don't know why would you do that. And then uh, comes in predefined filters. If I click on uh, this option of predefined filters, I can mention the port right here. I can mention the client IP address and I can mention the server IP address here. And that's it. And then click on submit. In this case, I'm using custom filter. What is the custom filter? Now, in this case, what you have to do is you, get, you have to mention the IP address like this. And not just that, you can mention the port number as well. Let me show you how. Right here, as uh, if you click on this question mark, you'll find that this is how you mentioned the host, and this is how you mentioned the port number, if you wanna select the port number, if you wanna filter traffic for any port number. In this case, I'm using uh, 80, you can do for 22, 25, whatever. And if you want a combination of both of these, you wanna capture the IP address and the port number as well, then make sure that you put an M, M person uh, in the middle of these two filters. That's a double and symbol, which is right above number seven on your keyboard. That's it. Once you're done with this, just go ahead and click on submit. Okay. So once you click on submit, um, it's going to take you back to this page. And once you're on this page, just go ahead and click on start capture. Okay. Because this part is done, right? All of this is done. and uh, all that's required now is for you to start the capture. So once you click on that, let me just go ahead and click on that, start capture, and you'll see it just started. And this is uh, the name of the capture file that you're gonna save. Now, uh, obviously this is just a dummy IP address that I used here. I'm not uh, gonna be able to save any uh, traffic for this. But anyways, uh, as soon as I click on uh, stop, uh, stop capture, um, the file will populate here. Right, so it says packet capture has stopped. File this was created, and this is the file right here. Meanwhile, the packet capture is running. Don't close the window. Do not close the window. I repeat. Okay, so select the packet capture that uh, just got um, uh, you know captured, and then click on download file. Once you click on download file, this is what you get. And uh, that's it, just use Wireshark to do it or whatever uh, software you wanna use to go ahead and uh, you know um, go through those packets that you just captured. Now, let me show it to you. Uh, let me show you how you do it from uh, the CLI. Okay, here we are at the CLI. So what do we do here? Once we log into the CLI, just uh, go ahead and run the command packet capture and you're presented with these two options, start and setup. Uh, you see at the moment, uh, no captures running, and these are the default settings. We can change those. 
uh, using the setup option. So I click on setup, uh, I run the setup command and I see that uh, the uh, enter the maximum allowable size for the capture file. So you can increase it or decrease it or whatever you want. Uh, I'll just keep it at default. And uh, what do you want to do? You want to stop when it reaches that size and so on. No, I don't want to stop there. And uh, the following interfaces are configured. Now, which one do you want to go for? I just have one interface, so I can just go for one. And uh, by default, it has selected two, not a problem. I can go for it. And then afterwards comes in the uh, the, the uh, major part of uh, your packet capture uh, filter. So you got to make sure that you put in a custom filter here and you select a uh, uh, you, you put in a filter that you want to capture the traffic for. Now, if you want to do a port number, you can do a port number. But if you want to go for a host, let's say 1.1.1.1, uh, and you want to do another one as well, so you can do host, uh, again, host. So there's going to be host, and then the IP address, and host. Now you can do, for example, uh, sorry, google.com. Okay, so you can do it this way as well. Now, if you want to do, do other things as well, then uh, you can do or. There's an or option available as well. So you can do 2.2.2.2 .2 and so on. So once you do this, you hit enter and you see the filter options right here. Now, if there's anything wrong with your filter, then you won't be able to start it. Now, if I'm able to start it without any problems and doesn't give me any error, then my filter is good. So success, packet capture has started. Now we're good with that. Now, if I hit enter, I'll, um, I won't be in that uh, context of uh, the packet capture command again. I can do the ping to, uh, you know, um, what do I keep writing that? Google.com. If I do ping to Google.com and I see that I'm able to ping it. And uh, now if I go ahead and run the packet capture command again, you see that it's still running. Unlike if we close the window in uh, the GUI, you won't see it there. Anyways. Stop, and there you go, 24 of 200 MBs, and uh, this is the name of the packet capture file, Starts with, uh, ends with a dot .cap. Um, and uh, now what you need to do is, in order to download it, you can just go to the GUI, where I showed you the option at the top right corner. Under help and support, you got packet capture, download the file uh, from there. You have the file uh, name that you can capture from here, and you can go there and get it done from there. That's it, download the file from there. Another quick thing that I actually wanted to bring to your notice is that um, uh, you had an option of TCP uh, dump before. Um, if you go to diagnostic and uh, you go to network, uh, you have this option uh, at the bottom which says TCP dump. Now, if I try to do that, it won't let me. It, it, it will just tell me that you know you're not. Uh, it's deprecated and don't do that. So please use packet capture to capture network traffic on the appliance. So that's pretty much deprecated and. Uh, yeah, that's about it. And also for the filters and a general guide to um, running packet captures, I'm going to put a, a link in the description below. And yeah, that should help you as well. In case you have any questions, please uh, put it down in the comments and I'll be very happy to help. Uh, please subscribe to the channel, like the video. It helps with the YouTube algorithm. And uh, yeah, I would like to thank you guys for um, watching the video. You have a wonderful time ahead. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you.